Okay guys, here's our Honda CRV that we showed you guys in the other video on the, this channel. We made it a camped out um, CRV. It had like bed and whatnot inside for you to sleep anywhere you go. But this time what we decided to do is to remove the old, uh, old, uh, uh, old paint, all these uh, trims. You see just trims on the side of the car, we're all this bumper, we're just painting them. We're basically painting the trims and the trim is what makes your car look very good and new. Yeah, so, the, so since the this car is old from 2003, right? All the all the uh, trims and whatnot are faded out. So it's time to use you know use these paints here. Let me show you guys the type of paint we're using. It says 2K Ultra Cover paint two times. Two times. Yeah, this is not for a car, but I don't care. You know, it's cheap because you know it doesn't matter. I'm not making this car into like a gold digging car, right? It's just to generally make make this car look new. It's like off-road kind of vehicle we got, we're trying to make, and this is going to uh, suffice. Yeah, it was 600 grit we used. Um, as you guys can see, the whole car is wrapped in this uh, plastic. You know, the painter's plastic that they, they use in painting. But what we just did, it's, it was in a roll. We just unrolled the uh, plastic wrap, we could say. Just put it all over the car. This way, no paint will at all get on the car. We could, we could just spray it like this Psst, everywhere. Even this Mercedes here is all um, protected. Mercedes-Benz 2011. Um, yes, you see we paint, uh, I mean we mask the t masking tape everywhere. So, let me go over here. Guys, give you guys a better view from the hood of the car. So, this is what it is. We even put the sticker. Yeah, Ricer. We're trying to be Ricer here. Honda CRV sticker. And mainly, we just want to paint these trims and anything that's plastic, um, semi gloss black, and put uh, clear on top of it. So, clear coat on top of it so everything can be shiny and look furious, fast and furious. Because. <laughs> Fast and Furious because we're literally using this uh, sticker, you know, rice. It's a ricer car, man. It's not. It's an off-road vehicle. Off-road car. That, yeah. Stop everything around. Everything in between, guys. All right. So this is the first step. We're going to be, he's taping right now, and we're going to be putting one, one coat of layer of paint on top. rust lem Same my gloss black. Okay, so we're going to put like three coats of that. Let it dry. And then tomorrow... Once everything's dry, we're gonna put three coats of uh, this clear paint. I don't know, I forgot. Yeah, guys, if you comment that we're doing everything wrong, hey, it doesn't matter, man. We're not car guys, right? So, I mean, look, they, no one could do a better job than we did here. Like, look how much the car, car we covered, like every little inch of it. So, yeah. Just, just to paint the trim. Just to paint the trims, man, all that work. But it's gonna look good, I hope. Hopefully, it looks good. After the black uh, semi gloss, we're gonna put the clear uh, coat on top, three layers. Hopefully, that gives it the shine. We might buff it at the end. We might buff the car. See how that sh uh, makes it more shiny. Okay, so he got first. He's gonna do a first coat on the bumper. All right, I'm just gonna start from here. All right. Let's see how it looks, man. Okay, so we're gonna do a first coat on the back of the bumper, back bumper. While we wait on the other one? Yeah, let's get it. You gotta keep 12 inch always. Always. Because last time, since we were amateurs at this, since we painted last time, we had all kinds of drips and it was just a tough day, man. Hey, we're doing first coat, so you won't have to drip. Just keep doing this.
so we got these three um, pieces right here. One, two. Why not, right? Like, three, why not? maybe four. If you count that. Oh, look at this. We forgot. Oh, that. Wait, wait. Oh, you forgot that? <laughs> See, I was, I had it prepped here. Hey. So go. these also gonna be. Um, we sanded these. It's very smooth. Six hundred grit. That's what we used. See what I like about this. Uh, Plastic, it, it sticks to itself. Yeah, this is the type of plastic that sticks to itself, so you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's not like this plastic where it's just like th this is so loose. Yeah, all right, ready? No, we don't have too much wind right now. There you go, go. There you go. Wow, now this paint probably is not a good paint, but. The reason why we got it is because it's cheap, like we, I told you in the introduction. Listen, even, it's if cheap the, paint. even if this paint is cheap, you know what we're going to do? What? We're going to put a clear coat on top three times, and that will keep it safe. Yeah. All right. All right, now second coat. This kind of wind right now. There's no stopping. <laughs> Third layer, yeah? Always spray first. There you go, spray from far away. It's the third coat. Hopefully this is the last coat. Okay, so here's the difference. He did the bumper, four coats. I don't know if it needs more. If we no, get paint, five coats. yeah. If we get paint, we'll do it more. But look at the difference between this, which is not done yet, and this. Okay. See the see the difference? Record that too. Now. And see how it, it, this is sanded, so it looks very bad right now. Go record the ones I did over. Yeah, yeah, I will. Now see the difference. This is more more shinier. We, we didn't even put clear coat on top of that yet. Oh, yeah. So this is looking semi-professional, you know. Okay, he just painted this side one coat. And up up here are done. Coat. Look how smooth. Previously there was like drops and all kinds of shapes that were going on here. We sanded this down to a smooth surface. Since he painted it, it's very. It looks very professional. I love this. So the mirror is gonna pop because the trims and whatnot are black in color now. All right, we are done painting, and um, now after this dries, we're gonna be in the process of putting the clear coat on top. It's how, so smooth and look shiny. Look, guys, how I managed to not any drips. So that's why you put the can 12 inches, and you do one spray. coat spray from 12 inches. You, you wait like 15 minutes in between and do like six or five coats. I did six, 
on this bumper. See how shiny it is right now without the clear coat on? Um, I'll record there too a little bit. So yeah, right here is the same thing here. These trams underneath all are painted. And look at these. Handles are shiny and good. That's good. The mirror, I like how th these turned out. Are so smooth. Like it's like brand new. It looks like yeah. it. If you look, you can tell no. It has no scratches because it just sucked it. You know the scratches. It just it's absorbed, like absorbed, absorbed it. Is a better word. But um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, he gets the defibrillator on. Um, we're gonna be. He's gonna be spraying later on. He's gonna spray the liquid. Um, what is this? Okay. Let me just show you guys. Rust OLM Ultra Cover Gloss Gloss Clear. So now it's gonna this is gonna give it the shine, hopefully. And uh, it won't you won't see a handprint. Yeah, you won't see any handprints. So we're done with the basic paint, the black uh, semi gloss. It's pretty dry now, it's been an hour. I know it's better to wait a day, but but hey, we don't want this uh, new paint to capture any dust, so you know. You just cap uh, just putting this clear on top. Here we go. I'm gonna do it from far. Remember always to start spraying. Yeah. Now don't breathe. Thanks for spraying on me, though. You always. All right. Let's see. Good enough for now. Yeah, just that's good enough. Don't don't make it any drop. I never buffed the car before, but we don't want to do it right now. We don't feel safe to do that, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna leave it at this part. So uh, just just putting on clear. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it here. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna do this three times as well. Everything three yeah. times. This, you know, this just gives it the protect. This protects the inner paint, the black semi gloss. So it's gonna be clear on top. So any scratches that you get, it's gonna be on the clear paint. So it won't damage the the black uh, semi gloss. Yeah, so I won't damage it. Yeah, it even is uh, UV protected. So this paint protects the semi gloss from UV damage. I really want to see how this is going to turn out, so we'll see in three, two, well not, not the whole, uh, the whole project car, but I mean the first coat, so three, two, one. Alright guys, we just finished doing the second coat of the clear, semi-gloss clear. Don't breathe bro, it's toxic. Yep, it's very toxic, but that's the result of two second coat. I'm going to finish with Please, three. It's shiny. We're gonna finish with the third one. We should cover it. Yeah. Okay. So so it's the next day, and uh, we are done. It's all dry now. As you can see it's very shiny. Very. I mean, it, it'll look even better if it's buffed up, so that any of these like little uneven surfaces will get straightened out. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna start taking all this plastic out, and we'll see how the the final result is.
guys, here's the end result. The paint is looking good. Looks pretty, pretty good. And I like the end result. At least it gave the trims a life. That it was fading before it was horrible. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll do we'll do more future videos. Hopefully this is you guys like this. Yeah, yeah. Here, let me close this up so you guys can see how shiny this new paint is. So this this hood for is from another car. And it obviously doesn't match with what we just did. So we're gonna send this down, send this baby down, and do the same color, and it's gonna look perfect. If you guys enjoyed this video, stay tuned for you know more, more stuff on the CRV.